Today we're going to actually go ahead and do a lesson that has to do with what we did yesterday. It is 7.6 solving inequalities and we're going to do just a second day. So in your notes, just go ahead and put day two. You don't need to write these notes down. We also talked about this yesterday. We talked about it when we were talking about equations. The rules are the same for equations as they are for inequalities. The first thing you have to do is identify the, the variable. Okay, The variable is a what? It's a letter, any letter of the alphabet. So you figure out what the variable is. Then, step number two, move the number that's keeping the variable from being alone with an inverse operation. So just remember, our goal is to get the variable by itself. I do that with an inverse operation. What is an inverse operation? Opposite. Read it to me. Operations that undo each other. Operations that undo each other. What undoes addition? A subtraction. A what undoes multiplication? Division. 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 Okay, everybody read me rule number three. What you do to one side, you must do to the other, okay? So whether you're doing inequalities or you're doing equations, you have to be fair. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And these rules are things that you should hopefully have memorized. Let's go ahead and write this down for me. Number one, solve the inequality, then graph the solution. The main thing that I want you to remember, and we're going to use this today, it's a new idea from something that we didn't do yesterday. If the last thing you do is multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, what does it tell you to do? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read it again. Everyone read it with me in red. Go ahead. If the last thing you do is multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to flip the symbol. That's the only new thing that I'm going to be teaching you today, okay? So we'll just be checking each time to see did we multiply or divide by a negative number as our last thing that we did, okay? So once again, the goal, identify the variable and get it by itself. What's my variable? X. X. I need to get X by itself. What is not allowing X to be by itself? Six. 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 What operation goes with that six? Division. No, it doesn't. That right now says times six. What's the opposite of times six? Divide. Divide. Divide by six. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. What happens to 6x over 6? It becomes it cancels out of x becomes by itself. Okay, it becomes 1x. I'm going to bring down my inequality sign. What does that inequality sign say? Um, it flips it's, around. So no, what does it say? Less than or equal to. It does not say less than. Is greater than. Greater than or equal to. What's the number? 84. I mean, 14. 14. Okay, so now let's look. Was the last thing that we did multiply or divide by a negative number? Yes or no? No. No. So I'm going to leave it alone. That's my answer. I should have boxed it in. Read to me what the answer says, guys. Six X. times. No, what the answer X says. We just boxed X it. X is greater than or equal, or equal to 14. 14. Excellent. X is greater than or equal to 14. It's very important that you know how to read these things, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and graph it. You're going to draw your line. And remember in my class, all you need to do is just give me three points. The number that you had in your inequality answer is going to be in the center. So what's the center number? 14. 14. Ashley, what's one smaller than 14? Um, what's 13? 13. What's one bigger than 14? 15. Okay. So now we've got to figure out whether this is going to be a closed circle or an open circle. Does anyone remember what one thing is different, and that's how we figure out whether it's open or closed? What do you think? The equal sign. Does this have an equal sign? Yes, it does. So should that be an open circle or a closed circle? A closed circle anytime that you have an equal sign there. Okay? Now, Addison, which statement would be true? 13 is greater than or equal to 14, or 15 is greater than or equal to 14? 15. 15. So I need to take my arrow and shade over the 15, because that does make it a true statement. I could take that right there and plug this 15 back into here, and I would say 15 is greater than 14. Yes, that's a solution. Yes, that makes sense. So that is why we wanted to shade over the 15. Now, you can double check it by seeing my arrow goes this way and my arrow is doing the same thing going that way. So it is a way to double check it, but it does make sense. Let's go to problem B. 
x over 8 is greater than negative 26. Kayla, what is not allowing x to be by itself? Um, x over 8. Okay, the over 8. What does over 8 mean? x divided by 8. It means divided by 8. What's the opposite of divide by 8? Multiply. Multiply by 8. If I do it to one side, I've got to do it to the other side. What happens to the uh, x times 8 divided by 8? Okay, they cancel out, and I'm left with only one x on that side. Bring down your inequality sign, and x is greater than um, negative, two or eight. negative 208. Let's check our step that we had written in red. Was the last thing I did multiply or divide by a negative number, yes or no? Um, no. No, the last thing I did was I multiplied by just a plain old 8. Okay, that is not a negative number, so I don't have to flip the symbol, and that's my answer. Read to me what the answer is, guys. X is greater, X is greater than, than negative 208. Let's go ahead and draw our graph for this. How many points should I put there? Three. Three. Oh. What goes in the middle? Negative 208. What number is smaller than negative 208? Negative 209. Remember, it looks like the number is getting bigger, but whenever there's a negative there, it's actually getting smaller. So what's my other number that I should put there? Negative 207. Negative 207. Is this an open circle or a closed circle? So it is an open circle because there's no equal sign. So that means this right here, negative 208, cannot be an answer. It's not a part of the solution. So you don't want to shade it in, because if I shaded it in, that says negative 208 can also be part of the answer. So negative 208. Now I've got to figure out what I could plug in to this x right here. Could I plug in negative 209 is greater than negative 208? No. No, sure. because it's not true. Could I plug in that negative 207 is greater than negative 208? Yes. Yes, because that is bigger. Think about, like, money. What would you rather have, negative $207 or would you rather have negative $209? I'd rather have negative 207. That means I only owe somebody $207 instead of owing them $209. So this is a true statement. And then remember, the way that we double check is check to see are your arrows going the same way. My arrow goes that way. My arrow goes that way. So you can tell that that is correct and we did do it correctly. Looking at problem C, it says negative 3x is less than 18. My whole goal is to get what by itself? X. x. What is not allowing x to be by itself? Negative 3. What about the negative 3? Divide. Okay, I need to divide. Multiplied. It's being multiplied, so because of that, I need to divide by what number? Negative 3. Negative 3. Please make sure that you are dividing by the same exact number right there. A lot of times on your quizzes or tests, I've seen people that are trying to divide just by a 3. You've got to divide by the same exact number there in order to get it to go away. So I divide both sides by negative 3. What am I left with on the left side? X, X because negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1. So technically, I've got 1x right there, but you don't have to write the 1. Bring down your inequality sign. What sign does that say? Well, it's less than. It says less than, and what's the answer? Negative 6. Negative 6. Now, if you remember, you have to double check to see, was the very last step that I did divide or multiply by a negative number? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What did I do? I divided by negative 3. I want you to circle that with your red pen just to kind of emphasize to yourself that that was that red note that we put up at the top. We divided by a negative number. Look at your notes. What does it tell you you have to do if you divided by a negative number? Okay, you've got to flip the symbol. So instead of it saying less than, what should it say? Greater than. It should say greater than. Okay, you only will do that if the last thing you do is divide or multiply by a negative number. 
So let's go ahead now, we'll draw our graph. How many numbers are gonna go on my number line? Three of them. Which number should go in the center? Negative six. Now I have to figure out which number is smaller and bigger than negative six. What number is smaller than negative six? Negative seven. Good job. And which one is bigger? Negative five. Okay, so that I'm just looking at my number line, I can read it. Negative seven, negative six, negative five. And that is being read from least to greatest. Should I have an open circle or a closed circle? Open. It is an open circle because there is no equal sign there. So negative six cannot be a solution. Now you gotta figure out which number you could plug in to that inequality to make it true. Would I plug in a negative seven or a negative five? Negative seven. Okay, so what you're telling me is, if I do that, negative seven is greater than negative six. Does that make sense? No. It doesn't make sense. And then here's another way. If you double check it, look right here. My arrow goes that way. My arrow goes this way. My arrows are going opposite ways, so I know that cannot be the answer. So which one would have made that true? Negative five. Negative five. So then I plug it back in and I see, is this true? Negative five is greater than negative six. Does that make sense, guys? It does, okay? I would rather have negative five dollars than have negative six dollars. And then once again, if I double check, my arrow goes that way, my arrow goes that way. They are going the same direction, so it is true. What is the first thing I have to do to get x by itself? Um, multiply. multiply by what number? Negative three. Multiply by negative three on both sides. What happens to the left side? It crosses, it crosses out. It crosses out, and I'm left with plain old. X. What is my inequality symbol? Um, it, um, x is greater than this, um, less than this. Greater than or, negative or negative equal to? Negative 36. Was the very last thing that I did divide or multiply by a negative number? Yes. Yes, it was. Circle it with your red pen. I multiplied by negative 3 on both sides. Circle it with your red pen so that it sticks out in your mind. What do I have to do if I divided or multiplied by a negative number on both sides? Flip the symbol. Flip the symbol. So now what will it say instead? X equals... X, X is... Less than or equal to negative 36. Box it in. So now let's go ahead and draw our number line. Just three points. What number goes in the middle? Negative 36. What number is smaller than negative 36? Negative 37. And bigger would be negative 35. Is this a closed circle or an open circle? Why is it closed? Because, it's, has an equal sign. because it has an equal sign. That means that negative 36 can be an answer. Which way should I go? Should I cover up negative 37 and say that negative 37 is less than negative 36? Or should I say negative 35 is less than negative 36? Negative 37 is correct. All right, negative 37 is less than negative 36. Then I'm double checking with my arrows and seeing this has one that goes that way, which means that's going the same direction. So it checked out, it is correct. Okay, we're gonna do two more examples today. Okay, so these ones look a little bit different because these are like two-step equations. There are two things I have to do in order to get the variable by itself. What will I do first every time? Add or subtract or multiply and divide? Multiply and divide. Incorrect. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Every time you have to add or subtract. Now here's why. Here's something you can think about. This right here, negative 4x, you can see that the 4 is attached to the x. They're like best friends. They want to be together. They feel sad to be apart. So we're going to let them stay together as long as we possibly can, which means instead I am going to get rid of this negative 7 first. What is the opposite of minus 7? Positive 7. Plus 7. If I do plus 7 to one side, I have to do it to the other. Got to be fair. What happens to negative 7 plus 7? Zero. It cancels out because the number in its opposite equals 0. So what do I do to the negative 4x? Uh, Bring it down. 
Bring down your inequality symbol also right there, less than or equal to, and then what is nine plus seven? 16. 16. Am I finished with my problem? No, you don't. You have to solve My entire goal is for x to be by itself. Is x by itself? No. It's not. So what do I have to do? Divide by negative 4 because I'm trying to get rid of that negative 4. So the only way I can do it is by an inverse operation. What is negative 4x divided by negative 4? 1x. 1x is less than or equal to what is 16 divided by negative 4? Negative 4. Negative 4 is correct. Was the last thing that I did multiply or divide by a negative number? Yes. Yes, yes. I divided by negative 4. So now what do I do? Flip, Flip the symbol. Flip the symbol. So instead it will say x is... Greater than negative greater 4. Greater than or equal to negative 4. Make sure you keep that equal to sign, okay? You're just flipping the symbol, but still keep if it says equal to or not. As I graph it, I'm going to go ahead and do three lines. Negative 4 will go in the middle. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. Is this an open circle or a closed circle? Closed. It is closed because why? It is an equal to sign in there too. Which number is greater than or equal to negative 4? Negative 3. Negative 3 is correct. And make your arrow go that way. The last one we're going to do today, 2b minus 13 is greater than 9. 2b minus 13 is not alone. I want to get b by itself. The first thing I need to do is divide. What do we do first? Add or subtract or multiply and divide? Add or subtract. Plus 13 to both sides. On the left side, I'm left with only 2b because this cancels out. Is greater than, what is 9 plus 13? 22. Am I finished? No. no. No, it's a two-step problem. I've got to get rid of that times 2 that's next to the B. What's the opposite of times 2? Divide by two. Divided by 2 on both sides. This cancels out. I'm left with B is greater than, what's 22 divided by 2? 11. 11. Was the last thing that I did multiply or divide by a negative number? No. No. So it stays B is greater than 11. Go ahead and label three points. 11 goes in the middle. What goes to the left? 10, 10 11, Close. open, circle, or closed? Open. open. It is open because there's no equal sign, and I need to shade over the number 12. because 12 is greater than 11. And that is everything you need to know for 7.6.